Coming up on this edition of In the Line of Duty. Now here you got two guys, a, you know, 20 plus year veteran. Yeah, know what they're doing. And they just, uh, you know, unfortunately came in contact with the devil that day. Hank Earl Carr was a man whose evil ways cost a community five lives in one day. A child's, his own, those of two Tampa homicide detectives and a Florida Highway Patrol officer. The moment he followed Carr off the interstate uh, and allowed himself to get as close to him as he did, uh, he belonged to Carr. Lessons learned by the officers involved in the line of duty. It was the day the devil did his work in this Florida community. Hank Earl Carr killed four and almost killed two more. Hello and welcome to In the Line of Duty. I'm Don Marsh in Tampa. And I'm Ron Barber. The bloody incident in which Carr also died has brought into question almost everything that happened that awful day. Now, Tampa cops and Florida Highway Patrol troopers are answering questions officers all over the country have been asking. The two most recent names inscribed on the Tampa Police Department Memorial are those of Rick Childers and Randy Bell. The two veteran homicide detectives had almost 40 years of service behind them on the day that they died. That was the day they ran into 30-year-old Hank Earl Carr. He was being questioned in connection with the shooting death of his live-in girlfriend's four-year-old son. But Detectives Childers and Bell didn't know Carr by that name. He was a wanted felon who identified himself as Joseph Lee Bennett. Even though he tried to elude officers at one point, he was regarded as a grieving father mourning what he said was the accidental death of the boy. 